The name of the song in English is My Island of Rukta. <laughs> talk a little bit about the village stores and a hotel. The village is located at the neck of the peninsula. The houses in the village are very close together and there are flowers in front of the ports. The old houses are made of wood and tin. The new houses are made of cement. There are four small stores and two bars. Sometimes men and women stop in the bar to get a drink. The men drink beer and the women drink soft drinks. Some people put fresh eggs, vegetables, and fruits in a store. We have one hotel. People from near island sometimes visit here and stay in a hotel. Only $8 for renting the hotel room and three big meals a day. There are 1,200 people here in small village. Here in Rota, we live in houses made of lumbers, cement, and blocks. The people buy their material from Guam, our neighboring island that is the territory of the United States. A few people live in an old-fashioned houses, like separating the kitchen and the house where they sleep. But now the houses are being modern. Houses have glass windows, louvers, and screen windows with curtains. A few people here have TV and electric stove, but most people have radios, washing machines, sewing machines, refrigerators, and other electric appliances. Also, we have theater, church, school, stores, hospital, hotel, and bars. We have sports every Sunday. We wear Western style clothes like in the United States. Our water comes from the water cave. We don't have taxes for our water, but we do have taxes for the electricity we get and there are other taxes. I hope we won't have more taxes. Some people are employed by the government, but most are farmers. We buy our food from the stores. Some grow their own food. My name's Ellen. I'm in the 8th grade. My name is Sabrina. 
I mean the eighth grade. Here on Rhoda, we usually have lots of fun, especially on holidays and weekends. The time we most enjoy ourselves is when Christmas time comes. We go caroling at night on Christmas Eve. We usually have picnics at school during school days. We, we swim a lot because we have a hot weather now. We form a youth co coming club and we usually have dances on weekends. My name is Rosalina Martita. I'm in the eighth grade. We have different kinds of good foods, except that in the tropical area, we don't have the same color of certain kinds of foods. I don't mean that we have the same food as you have there, but some, like strawberries, we grow that, that kind of fruit here in the tropical area, but not much, not as sweet as you have there. Anyway, anyway, when we cook, we don't need to use recipes. Mothers here are good cooks. Even us kids, we learn as much as an American could learn at home. You see, mothers are very strict here and make us cook. If you don't do it right, <clears throat> she'll make us recook it. It's not that we never use recipes, but we don't use it very often, like American mothers. In fact, most of the food we cook are very fascinating, and that's why most kids are very fat. We have many different kinds of food, foods here, such as breadfruits, taros, yam, tapioca, and bananas. I think most of these foods here on Rota are good too. You will be very surprised to know these kinds of food that you don't have there, or rather never try to eat. We have lots of fruits too that you don't even know or eat. My mother usually let me cook the food so that I could know how to cook different kinds of foods. My name is Edward Manglonga. I'm in the eighth grade. Uh, here on Rhoda, we have two seasons, the wet season and the dry season. When wet season comes, we have a lot of rain every day. When dry season comes, it's very hot and the roads are dust, dusty. The weather here is very different from the weather in the United States, especially the northern part. Uh, the typhoons here are very se severe. It's like the hur hurricanes. Uh, we were once struck by typhoon, by a typhoon. What did it do? What did the typhoon do? And it destroys uh, a lot of houses in the village. My name is Sister Athali. I am in the seventh grade. I'm going to talk about the subjects here in school. The subjects are science, social studies, oral English, reading, mathematics, PE, and crafting. The school starts at 7.45 till 11.15, and in the afternoon it starts at 12.15 to 3 p.m. The library is at school now, but they're going to move it down to the village so that it is going to be a public library. It start, and the library <laughs> I like to use the library now because we have lots of new books. My name is Alex Castro. I'm in the ninth grade. I'm going to talk about our island here. Our island is in a big island. It's located south of Guam. It's 32.4 square miles. The mountains look like three steps up. Mount Sabana is the highest mountain in the Marianas. It's 1,200 feet high. Rhoda is the only island here on the Marianas where television can work. We have a typhoon, except one. We have a typhoon shelter at the end of the village. It's a big natural cave. We get our water from a cave. It's a natural cave. Our island is good for farming. The village is close to the ocean. Our island is mostly surrounded by reef. It's a good it's good for fishing. 
Our island is a really a beautiful island, but it's a good place to live. I'm Fermina Atalik and I'm in the ninth grade. Now I'd like to tell you what are the customs that we have here. Chamorro customs are similar with your customs, but they're different in some ways. What I mean is some of the parents are old fashioned. Chamorro parents don't allow their children to go out dating with boys alone. Another custom we have is the wedding. When a man is marrying a woman, he should take his parents and some other closely related relatives to ask the woman's parents. If he is allowed to take the girl, they usually have a big party and we call it fandango. Another thing the most tomorrow parents don't like is teenage girls wearing short dresses and long nails with polish. I believe that's enough. I have a lot more to say, but I have to cut it off in order, in order for the others to have a chance to talk. My name is Diego Songo. I'm in the ninth grade. I would like to talk to you about the transportation here on Rhoda. The transportation here on Rhoda is very much the same as the transportation there, but one thing is not the same is that we have an old type of car is called the book car. It has two wheels and a book car to pull it. And a book car and a book to pull it. <laughs> it's very fun to ride it. Children enjoy riding. We had a very nice and modern aircraft landing on Rhoda. This airplane is called the Air Micronesia. The airplane's schedule is on Sunday and Wednesday. On Sunday, the airplane is traveling to Guam, and on Wednesday, the airplane is traveling to Saipan. We had a many different kinds of transportation, such as jeep, tra trucks, sedan, pickup, and the bull cart in which we go in tomorrow, Karitan Waka. We had an M boat, M, M boat last year, but it was uh, struck by the typhoon and had a serious damage. So the Rodanese people ran the, uh, uh, another M boat from the Navy and they took it last month. Then the other M boat came from Saipan for My name is Jacinta de la Cruz. I'm in the ninth grade. Our church here in Rhoda is not big. We hope that someday they will improve and make it bigger for the coming future. The people here are, are all Catholics. The name of our church is St. Francis Borham. Every Every October 10th, we celebrate the Feast of St. Francis. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night, we have Mass. And on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, we have morning Masses. Our priest here in Rhoda is Father Thomas Camacho. He's a good priest, and he helps us in every way to make our life more complete here in Rhoda. In church, we have church chorus or choir. Most of our, most of our teenagers join the choir. And also we have soda lists for girls only and outer boys that help in church service. My name is Rosita San Nicolas. Here in Rhoda, we have the same government as you have there, except that the people don't pay taxes. We have Congress, Police, District Rep, and Mayor. Last night we have a territorial campaign. That's the two parties. The two parties here on Rhoda are the territorial party and the popular party. That's for political nomination. They're going to nominate for Congress Micronesia, District Legislature, and Ch Chief Commissioner. My name is Rita Hoko. I'm in the eighth grade. I read a lot of those new books that you sent, and thank you very much for sending them. 
Our library is getting bigger now since you sent those books. I like reading those new books that you sent. Some of them I, I've never, I've never heard of the authors and the titles, but they're good books. My name is Annie Manglonia. I'm in the ninth grade. Most people here in Rhoda is a farmer. People go to their farmers during the weekends. They they walk to their farms, for most of the people don't have cars. Few of them rode a car pulled by one cow. We call it a bull cart. The, the tools here we use for uh, pulling grass is sickle. Uh, and uh, my name is my name is Diego Songo. I'm in the ninth grade. Here in Rura, we have many different kinds of plants. We plant corn, beans, cabbage, uh, radish, Chinese cabbage. Carrots. Kind of animals we got on the farms. Well, and we had many different kinds of livestock too. We had pigs, chickens, uh, and cows. My name is Maria Faitano. I'm in the eighth grade. I'm going to tell you about my family first. Well, I have four brothers and five sisters. One of my brother was already married, and my other brother was in the States attending college there. My two youngest brothers were still attending school here. My job in the house was to mop the floor, sweep the room, and I sometimes cook. My oldest, sister, my oldest sister's job was washing clothes. My other sister's job was being a nurse. Almost every every parents here has large families. Sixteen children were the largest family on the island. We usually work on Saturday. We always went to church on Sunday morning. Please tell us about your family there. Thank you. My name is Martina Mendiola. I'm in the ninth grade. Now I'd like to tell you what we have for sports here. Here in Rhoda, we have two different kinds of sports the baseball and the volleyball. We have women's for the volleyball team and men's for baseball team. The name for the baseball team are Cardinals, Hustlers, Michael Line, Scholars, and Hit and Run. And for the women's volleyball team are Sorority, Blue Rebels, Grasshopper, and Michael. On Sunday, we have baseball game, the Cardinals against the Michael. The score was 13 to 12 in favor of the Michael. And for the women's volleyball team, the sorority against the Blue Rebels. The score was 15 to 8 in the first game and 15 to 12 in the second in favor of the sorority. On this coming Sunday, we're having another game, and I hope to tell you what's the result if I can. This program is sponsored by the Community Action Agency. Please, if you would like to tell us what you have in sports at school, we appreciate it very much. I'm going to tell you about the history of Rota. The island was first discovered by, by Magellan. Magellan is the first to discover Rota. He landed on Guam. He landed on March 6, 1521. Then he came to Rota after he landed on Guam. He named it Islas de los Ladrones, which means the Island of Thieves. They, na they named it because when they came here on Rota and on Guam, the ancient Chamorros stole everything they had. They dust this thing during a night. The Magellan was sleeping and his men, until they stole everything, Magellan and his men had nothing to eat, so they went away till they came to the Philippines. That was where Magellan was killed. After a few years, Queen Maria Anna in Spain changed the name to Maria Mariana Island. 
After the Spanish came, then the Germans came. The Germans were big people. They had blonde hairs. Their language, language was different from the Spaniards. The Germans do like the islands and so as the people that live. Germans are Germans were hard working people. They did lots of things for the Chamorro people. When they were here they planted coconut for copra. Chamorro got lots of money for making copra out of coconut. The Chamorro thought they were hard working people. They got along very well. Then one day one farmer saw one farmer saw a big ship and that's the Japanese ship. The Japanese conquered the Germans and took them back to the islands. When they came back, they let the Chamorro work hard. The Chamorro were very unhappy.